All right. <laughs> All right, what's up, guys? What is up, guys? Um, So I'm doing this video. Let me just scroll over here. Subscriber, shout out to... Sh Sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Shafiel. You know, he wanted us to do a video on how to take, you know, good notes, note-taking guys. So that's what we're going to do here today. Um, I'm currently using Notion right now. I do have the subscription plan, but you could do this without the plan. And I think this is the one of the best notes taken app thus far. I did come from OneNote, many years in OneNote. And, you know, I think Notion is more cleaner and, you know, more productive. So just want to give you guys a quick guide on how I take notes and stuff like that. So there's actually two ways to do it. The first way, um, I never did this way before. You could go to the template option right here to scroll all the way down to the student. And as you can see, you get some student, you know, templates and stuff like that. You know, I have yet to use these, to be honest. So I just wanted to show you guys that there is, you know, template options. Uh, just in case, hey, I'm lacking creativity. I don't know what how to format it. There are some template options here. Here, one good way that I do to make notes. Let me just um, let me make a new private page. Let's just name this cyber. That's not how you spell cyber. Cyber security notes, and we could just put Python or something. All right, now you wanna give your notes a title, do a little um, dash dash, get that border right there. I mean, you can add an icon, make it look, you know, presentable, pretty, add a cover on it. Now covers, you could get covers from three um, multiple spots. They have Unsplash, which is, um, you know, app, uh, website where you could get, you know, free to use images. You could upload your own images and stuff like that. We're just gonna go with a basic coding background let me see how this one looks. All right, we'll just go with that one. All right. So, okay, we got our title for our notes. Got a little icon and we got a border. All right. So, let's just say, hey, um, and this is going to be, this is going to look like a tree. You'll see what I'm talking about. Like, for example, when we go to the BMPT notes and thank you, <laughs> uh, let me see who you were who uh, corrected me. Uh, Alex, shout out to Alex for notifying that typo. So, so I say here, as you can see, we have multiple trees here. I have the actual PMPT, then I have the PEA, and then the notes here with the different things. So we're gonna try to do that with this one. So cybersecurity notes, Python edition. So we could just start with, you know, forward slash, and just type in P and you wanna get page, all right? Now this page, let's just name this page Python uh, fundamentals. Okay, double dash. And then with this, you don't have to go too deep into it. Add a little snake icon and just add a random cover. I'm just gonna do, uh, let's do yellow or something. All right, and then within here, let me close this up. We go back here, we have, remember, we have the original uh, note notebook and then we have a page within it, Python fundamentals. All right, so this looks cleaner from the outside portion. Okay, and then from here, I'm gonna make another page and we're just gonna name this, let's say, scripts. Okay, scripts, and we could just do strings and variables. And I'm not doing any icon or anything from here. So from on this, this side, let me actually pull that up. You have the notes, you have the page within the notes, and then you have the section. And in this section, we're gonna talk about scripts. So how do I go about writing my notes? So first I do, let's do a forward slash. I do a call out. Let's just start with a definition and stuff like that. What is the string and a variable within Python? And then from here, type in Python var variable definition. There we go. Highlight that. Copy that. Let's go back to our notes and then paste that there. So now we have a definition on the topic we're going to dive deep into. Okay. And then from here, you could use a heading. All right. Or sorry, header, which is this three of them. Um, heading three is the, the smallest. 
So here we could just go for, let's say, example one. Now what's cool about Notion, all right, you could actually do a forward slash, and there's many options. You could read through all these options, table, bullet list, all that stuff. There is an option, um, see if I could code. So for those learning to you know code, practicing their scripting and stuff like that, there's an option for code. Right now it's in JavaScript. We're gonna put it to Python and just show you guys an example. So Python, let's just type in a random Python script. Oh, well, since we're going over variables, let's just do um, greeting equals, uh, let's see, what do we want here? Hello. Nice to meet you. Or actually, instead of this here, let's just do this. Instead of this, I'm just gonna erase that. I wanna show you guys something. We're gonna go to Visual Studio Code and we're just gonna do it in here. This is another cool feature I wanna show you guys about Notion and stuff like that. So let's just make the code in here instead of just throwing it in here, just to make sure it works. All right, so let's, uh, we're gonna make a code. Let's do a touch greeting.py. All right, so we made uh, a file, we made a Python file. All right, cause it, why? It ends in .py, that's the extension. So a Visual Studio Code, do a command. Let me see, command. Oh, we're gonna open greeting.py. Like you see, Visual Studio Code, which is IDE, detected A, that's a Python file. Now let's write the code in here, you know, so we don't get described. So it was a variable, right? So, so greeting equals uh, hello. My name is actually no, no, I'm gonna do that. Hello, nice to meet you. Okay. Print greeting. Let me just make sure this code works before we bring it over to um, Notion. So, actually, let me save. Command S. Now we're gonna do Python three and let's run greeting. Oh, I see why I didn't put it in. <laughs> put in that. Let's try the code again. And there we go. So the code actually works now. Let's do it again. It works, so from here, then you could do, copy that. So we just did a variable, we just did a variable. We put this string within this word and then print, which is pretty much cat in Python, you know, printing out the output, is gonna print that greeting, that variable, what has that phrase in it on the output of the command of the screen. So let's go back to Notion, paste that code in there. And there we go, let me just make sure this looks nice. I'm not sure why I have two of that there. Hold on. Mm -mm. Okay, one of these is wrong. Let me. I think I. Oh, I, oh, I think I still have the last one. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. So we have the code there, and stuff like that. So we could copy and paste that. Another cool thing we could actually insert the file of the code. So let's go to file, choose file, uh, go to our desktop code, it's in our Python folder and greeting.py. There we go. So the code is actually there as well too. And we can access that at any time. Okay. And then from here, you know, you could just go on and go on. But that's pretty much like a, you know, introduction of how to write just basic notes and stuff like that just for one topic. So just going back here, we had a topic. Hey, cybersecurity notes, Python edition. Okay, let's go over Python fundamentals. We're going to go over some scripts, strings, and variab variables. Do some practice here and all that good stuff. And you could just keep going down. You could just do a, let me go back to this page hey 
to another page. Idle. Okay. Call out. Because we're going to put the definition. Hey, what, what the heck is idle for Python? So Python idle definition. So that stands for integrated development and learning environment. It's an integrated development environment IDE for Python. So Python's own IDE. Copy that. Which is IDE is pretty much a place where, you know, programmers uh, test their code at. All right, let's go back to the, oops, actually that was on the same page. Back to the notion, place that there. Again, let's get some examples. Um, heading. And the thing about note taking, this is one YouTuber I was watching, I forgot his name. But, you know, you don't want to get <laughs> stuck in like tutorial hell, hell or just taking notes on it. You want to get practice with it. So yes, write quick notes on it, get practice with it. So that's what really makes it stick, that hands-on application. Because you can read about it all day, but if you're not applying it, what's the point? So now we're about to talk about ID idle, Python's own IDE. We're about to get an example for it. Let me get the code in. I actually know this, is it in Python already? Let me make sure, yeah, it's in Python. I think I know the code already. It's already it's Python 3. But we're gonna actually get practice with it. All right, so, oops, don't wanna do that. Clear that up. And let's go into Python's uh, own IDE. So you're gonna run Python 3. It gets you the version, we're on Python 3.10. And we are in the IDE for Python. So just to verify, let's run some quick you know, tests. Let's do four plus five. What does that give us? Nine. All right, so we're running, let's do prints. Welcome. My name, it works. So, so we're in, we're in there. We can actually do variables and all that good stuff. X equals 10. Y equals, let's just say five. And let's print those out. X plus why so okay that's python that's python's own ide environment and this is um we're in visual studio code which is another ide so actually what we could do right here we can actually take a screenshot actually i'll um yeah i'll take a screenshot let's take a screenshot of how that looks like in a terminal for us here put it under here and that's another cool thing about notion all right you could take screenshots and actually embed videos as well so what do you mean by videos uh let's go to videos here this is a good video on it we're going to do copy that copy link address go back to our notion and paste that you could embed it which means you could watch the video within notion or you could just add a bookmark we're just going to embed it to show you how that looks like. Let's see. Oh, she did I not paste it? Okay, I, I did paste it. And there we go, right there. And then we go watch it from here, all within the notes. Okay, delete that. So what's cool about Notion is that you could actually have it on your phone, which I do have it on my phone. So all the notes I do here syncs with the Notion on my phone because it's on the same account. And I'm able to you know read my notes on the go practice and all that good stuff all right so i mean i hope you guys get the point from here again get a topic you're interested in let's say you're doing a class or whatever topic you're on write it down make the layout looks pretty and then add some sub ch chapters let's go over python fundamentals and what are some sections within that python we could touch over as again we went over strings and variables and then we also went over python's own ide and give you some real lives for that. So that's pretty good. Um, I'll go to this course right here. What's interesting about this course when I took it a couple months ago, it's a video course. So there's technically there's no, there's no, let's say, how can I word it? There's no like text to copy. So for in video courses, they're gonna take a long time to take notes. 
excuse me. So let's just go here. This was like all some of the copy and paste, some of them hand handwriting, some of these and all that good stuff. So you really want to get detailed. The, the course is straight video. There's no text within it. So this is how detailed you could go with notes. Obviously, I took too I took a long time with it, but the notes are here permanently. And one cool thing about Notion, I could do a command P. Let's say, hey, I want to learn about um modules. Let me see. Did I go over that lesson? Importing modules into Python. All right. There we go. There's the lesson I have. We're going about importing modules. Okay. So again, and you could go crazy with Notion. All right. Or you could just keep it basic as we did. Where's the lesson we just created? Cybersecurity notes. You could keep it basic. So it's up to you. Again, don't get caught up in tutorial hell, writing a whole novel and stuff like that. Make sure you're actually actually writing good notes that you're applying and that you could use, you know, from time to time. I still reference my notes all the time. Most importantly, I, I want to make sure I get that application. So again, hopefully this video was um, <laughs> informative when it comes to taking notes, quick notes on whatever, you know, cybersecurity topic you're on or just general IT topic. All right. So that's it for today's video. Appreciate it. And um, yeah, let me know what videos you guys are interested in. Um, this video was sparked and, you know, pushed by, a, a, you know, a subscriber, a fellow supporter and stuff like that. So shout out to him. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else. Take care.